Hello everyone. So now we are going to do some more lab in Cisco modeling lab. If you remember in our previous video, we shown you how we are installing the new version of the CML. We installed that one 2.8.1 before we have a old one. So now this is a new one and same thing as we do before you need to type this IP 192.168.17.133 that is whatever IP you are getting in your browser you need to type that one so here I will type 192.168 after that I will write 17.133 okay this is the IP of the CML I will click and you have the login prom username admin and password whatever you said you need to put that one so I am putting that one whatever I said so I go inside that CML so now I am inside the CML now we can do the basic lab let me open this lab and here we don't have any device so I can wrap the device and I can delete this same thing I can wrap the lab configuration and delete here so now we can do any lab here if you want we can do so click here and here you have IOL this is a router you can take two router or three router because this is a free version if you see CML free okay CML free is written here so this is a free version so we can use up to five device external connector we can use unlimited unmanageable switch we can use unlimited but the other thing we can we can use in limit maximum five device we can use at a time so if I want to change the name of the device here I can change like this okay same thing I will go here I will change the name here also like this and now we want to connect the cable so click here add a link go here click the link here so we connected this now if you want to power on the device go here right click start same thing right click start so this device will power on this is a Cisco modeling lab this is free of cost up to five nodes if you want to run more than that one you can use the 20 nodes license personal license also but you can start free later you can see if you need then click the console and open the console so this is a R1 console here you can see here and same thing we can do I can take the R2 console also this is a R2 console and here we can do some configuration example I want to assign the IP here let me write here I will write here like uh, I will write 192 if you want to write we can write here so here I will write 192.168.12.0 slash 24 so this subnet I am going to use in between so I will write this here we can make bold and then if you want this I can put some loop back here anything we can put and you can go here and put the IP example 2.2.2 slash 8 and you can make bold so this is IP schema we are going to use so this is a R1 this is a R2 and here what I can do I can change the name of the device if you want uh, go here in the global configuration mode and change the name of the device so I change the name of the device here now I can go to the interface E0 by 0 and I can assign the IP address I will write IP address 192.168.12.2.12.1 give space 255.255.255.0 I will write here no shirt okay I have only one interface I done that one let me enable the BGP here we can say we can run the BGP I am using the AS here same AS we can use or different AS we can use our wish so let me enable the BGP here I will use the AS is equal to 1 okay both the side we will use AS 1 so I will write in between so I will use IBGP internal BGP we can configure so if you want to learn how we can configure you will write router BGP AS number one okay then neighbor and the neighbor press question mark if you did not remember the what you can say command just press question mark and then after that you can do the neighbor tag or you can use IPv4 or IPv6 so I can write neighbor neighbor ID okay neighbor 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 IP then remote AS remote AS remote AS is also one here 
so see here i wrote here router bgp1 because we are using as1 after that what i put i told neighbor this this one i am making the neighbor shift from here 192.168.12.1 and remote as is one that's all with this i enable the bgp now i need to go to the r2 and here i need to do so here i will go i will go into the global configuration mode i will change the name here I will go to the interface E0 by 0. I will write here interface IP address 192.168.12.2. Give space 255.255.255.255.0. And then we will write no shut here. And what else? I have interface. I will create loopback interface. IP address 2.2.2.2. Already you know how to create the loopback. That's why I am just writing fast if you don't know no need to worry in our youtube channel playlist ccna we have the tutorial of ccna some videos you can see you will learn how to create loopback why we are creating how to use everything okay and if you want to see some theory also you can look there so now i will write router bgp1 then i will write neighbor and write the neighbor ip who is your neighbor your neighbor is 12.1 and the remote is the remote is 1 and you need to advertise anything then you write network and the network id here you can press question mark you need to write the network id okay and then after that you can press enter or you can write the mass also if you are using the class full then we can press enter also but here let's see we need to write the mass here so i will write the mass 255.0.0.0 that's all so i advertise this 2 dot network now we need to check i can see here the neighborship go up here so if you want to write here show ip bgp you can see you have the bgp table here and this is a star and greater than symbol means valid and best and if you want to go to this network next stop is 0.0.0, .0, .0 means we are only advertising this network if we go to r1 you can check here in the r1 right show ip root you will get the root from the b b means bgp you can see b stand for bgp this is a b b stands for bgp this root is getting from the bgp and which bgp ibgp internal bgp and you can see ad value is 200 for that one and if you want to see show ip bgp table you can see bgp table if anyone want to go to this network next hop is this one this neighbor and if you want to ping you can write ping 2.2.2.2 see reply will come okay so here what we done we enable the bgp we learn how we can configure the bgp if you want to check you can write show run section bgp and see here this is a configuration what i done in the r1 same like this you can run the command in the r2 and you can see what configuration i done for the bgp in r2 also so this is a bgp configuration we done in the r2 forget this this one is coming automatically we did not configure that log but you can see this is a bgp configuration in the r2 and here this is a bgp configuration in the r1 okay so i done in the cisco modeling lab so let me stop this session if you have any doubts write in the comments thank you bye